Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another Windows 10 slash MDT video for you guys. And this one is all about getting into the audit mode within Windows 10 so we can start customizing it. So this video is going to be nice and short and sweet, hopefully. Uh, it's all about getting inside the audit mode. But I took a snapshot, and the snapshot is going to take you where you need to be to get into audit mode. So let me go inside my virtual machine, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to snapshot, and I'm going to go to the OOBE. Now the OOBE is the open box uh, environment, and that's the that's where you need to do the, the the three commands that you have to do to get into the audit mode, so you can start customizing it. Once you have your machine uh, and you place your DVD or you boot your new machine that has Windows 10, most likely you're going to get this option, this open box experience that you need to start configuring. But before you start giving the computer the name and start doing everything else, you need to, you want to get into the audit mode so you can configure it a little bit more. So once you get to this part right here, you guys want to do is shift control F3. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I'm inside my virtual machine. All right. I'm inside my virtual machine. I'm able to move all that. Shift control F3. Function F3, right? F3. What's going to happen once you do that is it's going to black out. It's going to take some time for me for my virtual machine to take a little bit of time because, you know, it's a virtual machine. Uh, for you, it probably it's quick. But what's going to happen is your machine's going to reboot. It's going to log into the local default administrative account. You don't need a password because it's going to automatically just go straight in there. You're going to go inside your desktop environment, start configuring, push all the updates, uh, do all the installation applications that you need, shortcuts, whatever you need, all the customization stuff that you need for your other machines on the floor. All right, guys, so we're finally inside our uh, audit mode. Uh, administrative account most likely you're going to see the system prep tool 3.14 don't close it just leave it as is uh you're going to get the network i'm going to say no for now hit no uh i want to go into start and i want to go into settings and i want to go into oh, actually let's close that up uh start file explorer and i want to check something out uh this pc c drive user and as you can see, I am logged in into, uh, I'm actually logged into the default one, but you're not going to be able to see it. So let's see if uh, hidden. So this is where I'm logged in. I'm logged into this account. So whatever happens into this account, when the person logs in, it's going to trickle down all the settings. So I'm going to do view, unhide that. All right, guys. So once you're inside your audit mode, uh, this is where you start customizing, installing all the applications, pushing out all the updates. I don't recommend closing the system prep tool dialog box. Just put it to the side, uh, out of sight, out of mind. Just don't close it because, because we're going to be needing it pretty soon. So don't close it. So um, we, when you're inside audit mode, um, this doesn't work at all. So if you're going to go online and download stuff, that's not going to work. So the best thing that you could do is go to all apps and uh, start all apps and then go inside Windows Accessories and open up your Internet Explorer. Uh, from there, it allows you to actually go online and get whatever files you need. If you're part of a network, you get into your UNC path and just drag and drop the stuff in there. But I'm actually going to go into uh, this site to grab some stuff real quick. A couple of items that I want this a uh, customized machine or custom image to have. So let's say I want Firefox. Definitely want Firefox. I want Fozilla. I want 7-Zip. Uh, yep, let's do that. And let's do Infraview. So I'm going to get the installer. Again, you guys are pushing out Windows updates, pushing out whatever applications, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to do these four guys because they're pretty simple. And I'm just going to run it on the spot. Right now it's downloading uh, the Firefox. Once it's finished downloading Firefox, it's going to install. Do the same thing with 7-Zip, Infrared View, Fodzilla. Once all this stuff is um, installed, I could go inside each individual application and customize it even a little bit more. And then uh, once we're done with that, then we could do a, a zip prep and then shut it down. Once you have all your applications done, uh, remember I told you guys not to close the system prep tool. So the system cleanup action is going to be into the system out of the box experience. That's what we want. Click on the generalize. Uh, shutdown option is not a reboot. We want a shutdown. And we're going to press OK. So up to this point, guys, just, just take a break. Relax because the machine is going to shut down. Right now it's sit prepping. It's working. It's doing its magic, getting it ready. All your applications are good to go. I think on the next video, guys, 
We're going to go over the MDT stuff, so stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you have any comments or questions, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support MDT uh, as well as the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.